Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Signalis. Last time we left off, we kind of ran around like a fool through a lot of different things, and I think I'm going to make my way to this rolling shutter gate. I had to refresh myself on what exactly I was doing, because it's been about a day since I played this. Um, so yeah, I think I want to get to this rolling shutter gate, because I have this shutter gate handle in my hand currently. So to do that, we need to go to... Sorry, take me back to the map. We need to go to Flood Overflow, go down, go down again, and then run over there. All right, got it. And I currently have this on and I have my stun prods equipped. I have no healing items on me, but uh, uh who needs healing items? Healing items are for cowards. And I'm, I'm no coward, definitely not. So, yep, the rolling shutter door is over there. I believe there's two enemies in here I gotta run past. Never mind, there's just one big one. One large, large, large -any. I will just be sneaking past you, friend. Thank you very much. And yeah, you exist. Uh, good dodge, good dodge, good dodge. Uh, uh-huh. Open. 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 Up. Uh, it wouldn't let me go through the door. The prompt disappeared on me. Okay, this is a safe room, though. That's a good get. That's a good get. This is a safe room. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, thank you. Okay, the piano room. Ah, this was the piano room. Yeah, they mentioned the piano room was locked. Uh-huh, and that's what it was ro locked behind. Okay, yeah, and they mentioned they needed to get into the piano room. I remember a note talking about that. I thought the piano room was going to be this door when I was in this hallway originally, but... Alright, what do we got? Replica Overview Euler. The Simple Universal Light Replica Owl Type. Generation 4 Low Cost General Purpose Biomechanical... blah blah blah. Euler units are the backbone of the Yuzin Nation's workforce. These elegant multi-purpose worker units are suited for all kinds of domestic tasks like cleaning, cooking, simple medical, and office work. Yules are highly social and get along well with each other as well as other replica models. While unfit for combat, their lightweight frame makes them a prime choice for distant facilities where supplies are limited. Haven't I read that one before? I swear I have. But maybe I'm crazy. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of a, of a different one. Because, yeah, this is the Falk. That's the Commander. Error. Oh, I'm thinking of this one. Yeah, low cost general. Okay, yeah. Replica designs are simple. The most produced replica. Perfect fit for working construction. Okay, yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Um, so, yeah, Euler are. Uh, I want to reread some of these things. Fox Diary. I got a good one. Do not want to live anymore. Is what I have become. The red eye beyond the gate showed me. It's like mine's been contaminated, filed by another person's memory, and no longer myself. Stuck here between her and me with half formed dreams and recollections penetrating my brain. Who is she? Who is the white haired girl? Why do I long to see her again? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we've got a glimpse of uh, what's going on with that. Okay, so we did take a little wee bit of damage there. The owl key. And then this is nothing? That is nothing, apparently. Well, we obviously gotta play Moonlight Sonata on the, um, on the piano so that we can get through the Spencer Mansion. I really thought that was like a glowing key card or something. I mean, we got the owl key, but... Good, it, it reminds me which door this was. Magnetic key card with an owl motif for the staff door... or staff dorm on the sixth floor. Thank you for reminding me. Um, I needed that. Uh, so let's save over here. And we can start making our way through here again. So... Sixth floor, we are currently on the seventh floor. Um, I can't take the lift. So... Workshop hallway. So is that- which door is it though? It could be this one, or it could be this one. Because this is the workshop hallway. There's a door right- there's a dorm right there, and there's also a dorm over here. So, staff dorm. Yeah, I'm not sure which door it's gonna be yet. Um, 
I am right here by the lift, so I can run down here and take the lift really quickly down. Or er, up, rather, not down. And then, yeah, I can check it out from there. So let's let's go down and take the lift. You are not outside the door anymore. Thank you for that. I'm a little bit low HP, but we did just save back there, so we should be fine. And we got a Octung. We gotta we gotta pay attention here. Let's go. Okay, they're back up. There's a lot of enemies here. Yep. Um, things are not are not good here. Uh, yeah, so I need to hit that door and see if that's where I need to go. Are you the one? You're not the one. Uh, run. Up, 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 up. No! Go through the stupid door! Oh my god. I always try to click on the door and the prompt disappears. Damn it. Um, should I use the repair patch? Yeah, I was trying to click on the stupid door. But it's, uh, what's like the... Is there a key I can press? Currently, I'm trying to click on the door. Maybe it would be better if I instead had a, uh, a key I could press to go through the door. Doesn't seem like it's going to give me the option, though. But yeah, like, sometimes the prompt disappears while I'm trying to go through the door. And then when, I'm, when I try to click on it, yeah, like, my character doesn't do what I want. Ooh, this is not good. But we used our repair patch, so I'm slightly healed. Um, which is good. And I can go through this door to kind of reset their aggro. Okay, well, the resetting the aggro was not needed. Oh, God! Okay. Yeah, they were waiting for me at the door. Um, okay, you know what? Just, just run. Just run. Just go. Up and around. Okay, we're out of here. Um, and I think... I thought there were bad things over here. Yeah, this is the one. Owl key. Oh, things are not... things are not going well. I'm, I'm not as... I'm not the most hurt I've ever been, though. We are still... sort of okay. Looking around in this room, I don't see... enemies here. Okay. Oh, just give me a stun prod. We're still very, very good on health items, and if I take one hit, like, that's kind of what survival horror games are all about. Balancing whether you want to waste ammo, or you just want to waste healing items. So, I'm totally fine with taking that hit there, as long as it means I get somewhere. Repair patch. I'm gonna use another one of those. I have so many of these things. I mean, I'm gonna need to heal. It's better than using my other thingies. Uh, Yulin Lighter. Pick up broken music cassettes. Okay, we have a portable audio tape player with a knife embedded in the speaker. Do I not want the knife? I feel like the knife could be useful. I mean, come on, if I had a melee attack, that'd be, that'd be really nice. No? Okay. So, I got a speaker. Can I look at myself? Tall mirror stands in the corner of the room. Don't think there's anything else to look at in here, really. So, basically all I got from that was a broken cassette. Looping multi-track. I'm amazed you still have cassettes. Looping multi-track magnetic audio tape cassette. The tape inside the cassette is torn. Okay, so I must need to repair it or something, yeah? So I must need to repair that, and then maybe I can bring it back to the music player? Okay, so we're- I think we're done with this floor, for now, because I still need my flashlight. Um, I can get back up to B5, and we can save. And then... Down in B7, there's that one door there. And then, yeah, the library has a few things. Falk's box. Yeah, it was the, um... That's, okay, so Falk's box was an owl. So, I probably have to repair the owl... Uh, tape, and then do something with that, because it's not going to play if it's broken, right? So, I'm guessing that needs to happen. Okay, 
But if all else fails, I can probably just try to take the broken tape over there and maybe it'll work somehow. I don't see how it would work. I mean, quite frankly, I don't even see how I'm going to play it once I get over there. But, uh, yeah. Yep. And it's a knife embedded in the speaker, so we wouldn't be able to do anything here. And, yeah, if I try to just use it, can't use this here. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything stupid here. So we got to repair this. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to the um, save point up here, I think. I still can't get in here. Don't know what's in there. 512. Postbox key required. Yeah, I have no idea where to get a postbox key right now. All right, well, let, let's just get up and see what we can do. Kind of take uh, take inventory back at the safe room, I suppose. Oh, boy. Okay, so what all do we have hanging around in here? The photo module. Old photographic module allows recording of up to six visual memories. So I couldn't, like, repair the cassette and record it or something like that. Um, the thermite, the pistol, eternity. Okay, so I really don't have a lot of items to be using right now. Um... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I do think I'm going to use one of these repair sprays. I am quite hurt. Uh, well, we're yellow after using one of the repair patches, actually. I'll take it with me for use, possibly. Um, I think I'm going to put this away for now. The cassette. I don't know that we need that at the moment. So, let's look around at the map here. The post box we can't do anything with. I can take the lift down. I don't have the key to that workshop. Um, I still need this light. Once I get the light, things will be easier. I want to say that door is locked, but I have never actually hit it. So I'm not sure. There's also the door here in the north hallway, although I'm pretty sure things were quite sketchy over here on B8. So let's go down to B7 and see if I can get into that door. And if I can get into that door, things will be fantastic. So... Let's see here. M... No, I don't need to know where I'm going. We're just, we're just going down two floors and then taking a right. I just feel the need to constantly check the map. Okay, um... Hello, so is that the room? No, it's the room beside it. Oh, it's the one that's... Yeah, that one's, that one's, that's why I never checked this one. Because it's like, taped up. So... Yeah, obviously we're not going to be getting in that one. Oh, and then this room. Oh yeah, this stupid room. 174. Should I just kill you, dorks? Uh-huh. How you like that? How you like that? Uh-huh. Oh, you're the real one. Okay, die. Okay, no, you're down. Okay, okay, yeah, I remember coming into this room and then I immediately left because I was like, screw that noise. Um, but yeah, we didn't actually fully explore this one. That's where it would be nice to have the, um, the, uh, things, um, like Resident Evil has where it tells you if a room's clear or not. But, uh, I, I should have given it a better look-see when I was in here last time. Bland painting. There's a keyhole in the painting. Painting of a strange island. Somehow it feels very familiar. That's not good. So there's a keyhole in the painting. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I do have my notes back here now, although I left my pen downstairs like a dummy. Oh well. Um, I was gonna write down that uh, this bland painting requires a key. Okay, so now that we've been through there, I can run back down to the piano room, hit up my save again, and then we're gonna go hit the, the lift. The lift needs to be hit. Uh Thank you for that. Really needed that in my life. Appreciate you. I feel like we've made zero progress and I've been recording for 17 minutes. I mean, we've gotten something, but... Yeah, the protector office, no reason to go in there. There's no reason to go in the star dorm or the dining room. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure we just go here. And we are going down. Yes. We are going into this one. Wonderful. Now, yeah, this is the place I have not explored as much. So we got Falk's box, there's the north hallway with this door, mineshaft access, and then yeah, I looped back to um, the overflow over there, and then the, yeah, this has the stupid star map. Okay, so let's see if we can get up there and maybe hit a few more of those doors uh, to the north here. Hopefully that one... Okay. Okay, you saw me. You know, fair. Fair. Uh huh. And the. Really? It's saying there's not a door right there. That one must be locked, then, I'm guessing. But this one over here, I have not hit. Go, 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 go. Please be open. Please be open. Please be open. Yes! It opens. Oh, wait, shit, no, that one was the door I wanted to go into. This one leads over- okay, the, I got confused by the map! I got confused by the map, it's fine, it's fine. Here we go. Aha! The door is open. Is that a flashlight? Please tell me that's the flashlight. Shotgun rounds. Uh, Eagle key is required. There's Adler. Uh, Adler. Uh, administration, uh, generation to five. Integral parts. Yeah, so we've- we've read about Adler too, haven't we? Are there multiple of all of the things here? Integral part of every protector in the administrator unit. A single Adler unit can man manage and oversee all administrative tasks for an entire facility, freeing other operational command units to focus on the direct control of protector units. Designed to work as a counterpart to the Falk unit, serving as her adjutant by taking care of necessary paperwork and calculations. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking I'm I'm thinking of the note we read about the problems. Replica known issues. That's what I'm thinking of. This one. Because it talks about the problems with Adler. Uh, they work best when left alone. They do not mix well with their own type, and they're usually very emotionally dependent on their commander. They're very susceptible to suggestion, making them easy to control, however, they become bored easily. Yeah, and is this my flashlight? There's a flashlight module. Pick up the flashlight module. Hell yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, can we install that bad boy? Shoulder mounted flashlight module powered by internal replica power supply when installed. Oh, so it takes up my equip slot. Um, F? It's too dark to see. Well, how do I... Use? Oh. Oh, okay. I'm imagining it's gonna be easier for things to see me when I have this on, though, right? Um, like it'll be easier to notice me? I'm guessing that's the case. So, what dark rooms do we have here? The... that room. That room is dark. Let's see, and if I go up, I can hit... That... I mean, we, we gotta check that dark room, right? I am in the orange currently. I think I can push my luck a little bit more. Um, okay, yeah, they, they noticed me like immediately. Um, so do you respond? You, they do seem to respond to light. Okay, so yeah, that's a thing that happens. Um, use the repair spray, please. Get me out of here. Okay, so only turn the light on when you absolutely need it. I'm glad we learned now. So unequip that garbage. And, uh, well, no, we need to equip it and use it, because now we're actually at our destination. Okay... Don't like that it's dark in here. Also don't like that I don't know how much ammo I have. Hello? There is an enemy. I see you, you bastard. Uh-uh. No. Back away. Okay, there's more. There's a lot. What the hell? There's... There's too many. Oh, this is a problem. And I can't use my stun batons in there because I have to equip them, which means I would have to turn my light off. 
Now, isn't that a sticky situation? Um, hmm. Well, uh, that's no good. Let's see here. Yeah, I would have to turn my light off. So if we go up a floor, yeah, with the lift, I can hit that. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go up a floor. We're gonna we're gonna get some uh, some better some better guns, me thinks. And then we're gonna go back in there and we're just gonna unload on those idiots. I think it's uh, I think it's shotgun time for that room. Okay, don't mind me. I think the shotgun is going to be required for that room. Okay, get me in here. Okay, flashlight, you're dangerous. Um, pestle, go away. Um, the stun prods we don't really need right now. Um, thermite shotgun. You know, maybe I should maybe I should thermite this doofus here. They're kind of really really easy to dodge though. Let's see, how much longer am I even going to be using this spot? Um. I I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna be coming through here a lot. Maybe I should kill you. Let, let's let's use one of our thermite. I should have already used it to be honest, but uh, you know. Uh, should I use the pistol ammo or just use the shotgun on you? I have a I have more shotgun rounds than I do pistol rounds, so let's get this going. You're also a big one, so. Yeah, you're annoying when I'm going across the room here. Hey, dork. Mmm. Eat it. Kick, 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 kick. Thank you. <laughs> My character was not kicking. Um, thermite. Use. Can't use this here? I mean, you can't use this here. Do I have to equip it? And then, like, do... Then use it? Or do C? C? No use. There we go. Okay. You are officially gone. Wonderful. Right? That means you're like proper dead? I used it on you. And you can't just use those things anywhere, right? Yeah, no use. So it'll only let you use it if you're in the correct spot. Good. Good. So now I never have to worry about that dork getting back up. Fantastic. So, the thermite can go away. Um, we have some extra shotgun rounds here. Um, yeah, I have my stun prods. The flashlight's gonna have to be mounted on me. Okay, shotgun rounds come to me. We got, we got ten of these. Um, I'm not gonna be able to use the stun prods, so I'm actually gonna put those away. And I'm gonna grab one of these repair sprays just in case things go real bad. And now I'm gonna save my game. And hopefully, this time things go a little bit better in that room. Hopefully. At least I don't have to worry about this dork anymore. All right, so down over here and we are going, we're going down, correct? Yes, it was down. And there are going to be some enemies. Uh, right, oh well, no, yeah, there's none down here. There was just those right there. Okay, um, let's mount our flashlight. Um, let's use our flashlight. It's times like this, I would really, really love to have some grenades. Okay. Hello? I see you. Uh-huh. Bang. Die. Kick. Kick, 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 kick. Okay, I can't see you. Uh-huh. So you have a shield. That's not good. Boom. Bang. Uh-huh. I can't hit you, right? Whoop! Uh-huh. Got you. Got you. That time I got you. Kick, kick, kick. And kick, kick, kick. There we go. Uh, gonna have to put you down again. Kick, kick, kick. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, I was waiting for the big dork to put the shield down. Um, and you did when you got close to me. 
uh, and tried to swing. So that seems to be the opportunity there. Is that shotgun ammo just straight up sitting in here? Like, did they know? Ooh, hey, another repair spray. Um, door is locked. What is this? The STCR, Storch. Um, security technician, uh, controller replica, combat unit. Each cadre of protector security technicians is overseen by a controller unit. Most common of which is the Stork type. One of the tallest replica models, thanks to their extended legs, storks figuratively and literally keep a distant bird's eye view of any situation, ready to direct and coordinate their assigned security technicians. Their tough, no-nonsense demeanor, though sometimes described as brutal and even cruel, makes them the perfect fit as unwavering sentinels of order. Sounds... horrifying. Yep, they put shotgun shells in here. They knew. They knew. Anything else in here? Yeah, I think the rest of the room's quiet. For now, at least. So, can I talk to any of these? Like, interact with the bodies at all? No. So, these are storks, right? They look very tall. 10 millimeter ammo. Oh my god, revolver ammo, too? Ooh, and a. Oh my god. So much in here. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to leave and come back, I think. Was this all just for resources, though? And that? There was, like, nothing more important in here? I mean, we gotta go drop some stuff off, but then I can come back and we can see. That might have just been for resources. I mean, it was... It was a fairly good trade, I think. Generally. Hello. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna, just gonna go over here. I could turn off my light, but I'm gonna need to turn it back on later anyway. All right, so let's put some of this junk away. And uh, let's put my shotgun away too. I don't need that anymore. Revolver ammo can go, shotgun. Uh, the two repair sprays can go. All right, we are very, very good on everything. Uh, let's get that out. Let's redraw some pistol ammo here. Equip that. And we need to reload. Beautiful. Uh-huh. Click. All right. And we are good there. So we're back to being pretty well off. Now, I want to go back down there and make sure that there's nothing I'm missing in that room. Besides the various items that I could pick up. Because the items are welcome. Don't get me wrong. But um, I want to I wanna make sure there's no important things in there. Uh, we do have other dark rooms to check out. One of them in that really, really dangerous, like, bathroom. Um... Let me just, uh... Shit. Um... Let's, uh, turn that off. And leave. Uh-huh. And then I'm gonna leave again. To reset you dorks back to your other position, hopefully. After the music calms down. Because they're at, like, the left end of the hall there. No, they're kind of standing right here. Oh, you annoying assholes. Oh, you annoying assholes. Um. Uh-huh. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Okay. Down. Sit, boy. Okay, they're down. So that was uh, some of my ammo. I still have enough shots to kill one, though. Which is most of what I want. Alrighty. Let's go in here. Hopefully none of these get back up. If some of these get back up, that's gonna blow. Um, use. Okay. Okay, I think they're staying down. Good, because I need to totally clear this room while I have the opportunity here. So, let's go in here and grab everything that we possibly can, rub our face on it all. Uh, can't get over there. Was there not more here? I thought there was one more thing. I think I'm crazy, though. Okay, I think we are good. Nothing over here, nothing over there. There's just all these things that look like washing machines. Uh, nothing here. 
Yeah, so this was just a loot room. Wild. Wild. Can't believe it was just a loot room. Okay, so... Um... That is the only dark room on this floor. Oh, wait, no, the ADLR bedroom is also dark. The ADLR bedroom. Hmm. Accessing that one will be easier from the staircase, though, yeah. <clears throat> I do believe it'll be easier to access that one from the staircase. Uh, oh yeah, we also have the protector office over here. You know what, while these dorks are down, maybe I should go check this out. While they're down. Ooh, yeah, you exist. Ooh, you also exist. Um, can't tell... You're hiding items or anything back there, but just let me through here. Aha! Uh, okay. That is... What kind of enemy is that? Um, let's turn... Flashlight off. I only have five shots. Never mind, there's more ammo right here. Uh, what is this? Island key. That's probably for that painting. Col Colibri? Colibri? In the management office? I have not seen that word before. That word before. It makes me think of the, the font. Calibri? One of the Colibris has holed herself up in the management office on the seventh floor. I've seen her and her illusion sitting inside the room, crying. Which one is the real one? Oh, you're talking about the, uh, the ones that made- that turned on my radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I've seen her and her illusion sitting inside the room crying, which one's the real one? I think it's because of that painting in there. Whenever I was close to her, I felt like my mind was being assaulted by the image of that island. The sensation was strong enough to make me hurl. Is there a way to neutralize the transmission? Maybe some sort of feedback loop of the frequency of her control signal? Is there a way to neutralize the transmission? Maybe some sort of feedback loop of the frequency of her control signal? Are you saying tune my radio to the frequency of her control signal to, like, cancel her out? Interesting. That is an enemy. And I probably want whatever they have back there. Wij der Minschhet Veneta. Fineta. Yeah. Cradle of Humanity. Uh-huh. So... Don't like that you're here. Hunter's key. Okay, I don't think you're guarding anything. Unless this room says there's a seat unless that's like a secret door or something. I don't think you're hiding anything, and I don't think I need to murder you. I have two keys, so I mean this room looks way longer than that, but I think we're good there. And in this room, I know what it looks like. Don't even turn your light on, just walk over here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, and now if you two could just stay down, because I think I have no reason to come back over here unless I want to hit the lift. Um, I think we're good. I believe we are good. Um, you know what? Maybe I should just go ahead and hit the island painting now too, while we're on a roll here. So I don't have to remember that for next time, since we already got the key in our inventory and everything. Bye bye, dork. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, this would be the island key. Oh, I gotta click on the thing. This would be the island key. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Well, you're a liar, video game. But okay. Workshop key. There we go. All right, we got the workshop key. Wonderful. Crazy that we're actually using physical keys again after so long of using key cards. Alrighty, so just let me hit this and we're out of here. Okay, now I can at least feel happy about actually having made some progress. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I quite like my new setup here with the save room with the monster that's dead outside. Okay, and we have a lot of new things we can uh, check out with this. Excuse me? Looking at this flashlight? Okay, I thought that little... 
Wait, no, that totally is, isn't it? I can't quite tell on this flashlight. That looks like the umbrella logo. But it might just be some red and white squares. I can't quite tell. Where was where was the flashlight? Jeez, I scrolled right past it. Yeah, if you look at the flashlight, um, okay, you know what? Let's let's go up here. Um, let's go out of our inventory. Yeah, see, that looks like it could potentially be like a uh, like a. No, it is just a. It looks very similar to the umbrella logo, but it is just four squares. So unless it's like a very low detail version of it. I don't think that's the Umbrella logo. I thought they were doing a funny, but no, that's just some lights. Alrighty, well, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Signalis off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.